it's like good for a double beat and dubstep, but sometimes you just want to like that, that, I don't know, dramatic black and white while looking down kind of deal. So what you do for the first one is you go about seven frames before you zoom. It's a five second transition, but I like to go seven frames before. And you want to do a default, or you want to copy your first zoom. You basically want to end your where you want the transition right here. It's pretty easy to go default. Next one is where you're going to end O's face because that's where the next scene goes. And that's the first part. The second part right here is you start with default and you zoom in a little closer. You don't have to zoom in as far, but you want a good output. So you get the so you get the both zooming in at the same time so it doesn't look like only it doesn't look like a crossfade. It looks like it's actually like right there. That looks really bad. I would have to adjust that if I wasn't lazy. I, sometimes you can go frame by frame and do it. It goes like that. Okay. And I did the same thing with Yuna and Seymour. Go zoom. That one is where the example of the crossfade comes in. I'm too lazy to change it. Same thing as before. Go to default. 7 frames before default. About right there. Except for you want that upside up, not upside down. A little bit in. Like. Go 1, 2, 3. Like, you already want them to be closer, so you want to zoom this in a bit. It would look way better if it was the same scene. Yeah, no, see how that's too close now? I want to zoom that out a bit. Actually, another trick is, if, if it does, if it acts weird like that, you can do it like a frame later. I can do one with two different scenes and show you what it looks like. And I did one with this. And he's going in. So this is like a perfect one for that. And you want to go back a couple frames to about there. And then I did one with one that was zooming out. Or I can try a different scene. For example, I will do. Um, I'll do the Bell Temple. There's this one part with Yuna. your frames. I used that button. That's where it is. Like right there. But the thing is with these zoom tutorials you want scenes that flow. Three, four, five. So like like that. You want that kind of scene that flows. So Seven frames before. Want that to be default. And six frames after, you want that to zoom in. So Oh, that's a little too fast. We'll do we'll show what it looks like further away. Yeah, you want scenes that flow like that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that for more tutorials. I'll be posting a series of transition tutorials.